Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back once again it is your boy Duff Josh and today we're going to be looking at a bit of BeamNG drive and we are actually going to um, show off some new cars that I've downloaded, uh, I've got some new tracks, I'm not going to do them all today though, we're going to stick to Yarmouth um, and I'm going to snap off the new Ford Cortina, I've got a Honda, I've got, I've got loads of stuff so hopefully it's going to be pretty epic and uh, we're going to have a good laugh. So um, I'm going to try and get a bit of AI in here. They may may not work. They may work. There's never no talent. It is AI. So first of all, I'm just going to keep spawning a few cars, get a jack and train going, and then I'll try and set the AI to chase me or flee, and uh, hopefully it will work. So this is all new. Um, just testing things out, and uh, hopefully we'll get better at it as we go along. So first of all, we've got the Volvo. Now this Volvo is an absolute animal, and I will do a review on the car later on. Um, but first of all today we're just going to take a look at them snapping um, and, but yeah like I say I'm going to do a review on each of the new cars and uh, really um, show their potential in a, in a, in a nice video so uh, first of all let's get this Volvo turbo Volvo look turbo Volvo in that fence stick the handbrake on oh, no handbrake not work alright that'll do Right, now I'm just going to quickly switch to the truck again and then I'm going to bang out the, uh, what should we go for? Should we stick a Honda Civic in the back? Just for a laugh, go on, we'll do it. We know it'll snap then. Right, so we've got this little Honda Civic. Absolute pile of scrap. Don't know what's going on with the chassis on the front with the axles, look. Looks a bit strange. Maybe a setup for circuit, but the opposite way around. <laughs> Anyway, we'll stick that in the back of that. There we go. Why does the handbrake come off? Oh, that'll do. Gives it a bit of leeway, doesn't it? So, right, then we'll uh, bang back out of that, back to that. Then we will go for. What car should we go for? Should we. Yeah, put the Ford Cortina out. Get that out there. So, we'll spawn that in as well. So there we go, Ford Cortina, this is a beautiful model, probably the best I've seen on this game so far. So uh, I'm going to take it for a quick spin round just because we all love a Cortina, especially me and myself. If I could own a Mark III I would. Um, but yeah, beautiful car, beautiful model, will we definitely be doing a review on this one, that's for sure. That will probably be the first one I do. So uh, we'll stick that in the back of the little Honda. There we go. Now we're going to switch back to the pickup and we're going to spawn ourselves a nice big yank. Now I'm going to go with the Smith Custom just because this is an absolute animal. So um, first of all spawn that in and we're going to take that for a spin round uh, Yarmouth Stadium um, and hopefully we're going to pick up the Cortina and we're going to run him in. So uh, we're going to get this bouncy race set up apparently car round the track and uh, we're gonna try and wreck the shit so let's go wreck the shit come on right coming for the Ford Cortina come on boom fucking hell we come off at a bit of an angle but I think that worked out absolutely perfectly because that means we can draw straight off problem is the cars aren't really lined up now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull my Bel Air over here and uh, oh no I pressed the wrong button Sorry guys, we've got a clean car again now. So, what car are we here? We're in the Volvo now. So we'll just straighten this uh, pile up, up a little. Get the Volvo back in the fence, there we go. Stick the handbrake back on, and then we'll uh, switch to the little Honda. Should still drive. There you go. Perfect, and then the Ford Cortina is going to be the question, but it's Ford Cortina, so it should still move. Yeah, I'm um, stuck to the Honda, so there's probably an easier option just to drag the ass end of this beast round. Um, I uh, don't quite know what I did there, <laughs> but we'll just drag that round. No, it's not as easy as it looks, I'm afraid. So if I back it up now, what we'll do is we'll grab that corner. We could actually pull that back out, look. Pull that back out, there we go. And then 
drive it forward should push the Honda into the back of the Volvo just about apply the handbrake switch back to the Bel Air away we go so unfortunately it's actually uh, straight again but that shouldn't matter because the other cars are still fairly straight so what we'll do is we'll go around and abs oh nearly rolled it I had to do a little correction there all right now hopefully we can snap them off a treat this time boom that was a fucking good following on the uh, Cortina there looks like we're stuck on the exhaust pipe there that's the only problem that is where and that is snap just like a proper banger would snap it's actually took the wheels off the floor and put them to the cage just like an old school banger would and that is fucking epic all right so now the uh, pile ups kind of not straight anymore don't know how we're gonna play this one so we'll uh, we'll park it like that and we'll come back around the other way come on off you come there we go we're off looks like the uh, suspension may have collapsed in this uh, yank on the left hand side um, still working all right it's a little bit bouncy oh get a little bit a little bit sideways not enough uh, power there to correct it anyway coming back round and see the Cortina in my sight oh and I've, I've stuck it in the wall and I've snapped it off I've actually snapped it off what am I doing what about if we rewind oh wouldn't it be nice if you could rewind without fixing your car but there we go it's one of those things isn't it so uh, right let's get this back around the track oh yes yes we kept it we kept it didn't get too squarely all right, we're gonna ju Oh, he snapped himself off on the post again. What are you doing, Josh? Jesus, mate. All right, what we'll do is we'll cut it back to here. It's, it's an awkward angle, especially with the curves. We'll just do that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We actually got it in there. I actually got some springs in the back of that Ford Cortina as well. That's awesome. So right, now I've parked that in there. I'm actually gonna set this car to chase. And I'm gonna chase. CG day two, that'll do, yep. Alright, so now he's doing what he's doing. I'm gonna jump in the Volvo and I'm gonna come snap him off, hopefully. Uh, we're stuck on our bumper by the looks of it, so I'll just pull him off. No, not wanna come off. Get off, get off the Volvo, get off the Volvo, come on. Alright, did that free me? Oh. That, just that little bit of bumper, that's the problem with bumpers, I may start removing them before we actually do anything and uh, that might solve a few of our issues because it's always the bumpers that stick you see making it an absolute nightmare because look just uh, what I need is a splice tool <laughs> just to splice through that there so uh, we'll get that off, there we go, oh fuck now we rolled it now we rolled, alright come on Volvo Stop playing silly beggars. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're away. We've still got the bumper attached underneath the car, but it's movable. The Volvo's moving. That's what we need. Fucking hell. Brakes lock up easy on this thing. Looks like it's starting to snap on the front post already. So, I uh, wonder how this will be after we get in the back of this yank. Boom. Oh, what a shot. That is awesome. And, uh, yeah. Looks like the uh, Volvo has actually snapped at the front on the pillar now. So that's 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 the Volvo uh, virtually to an end. Um, can we get this to move? So if I set this to chase, and we're going to get him to chase. We'll get him to chase that one. No. Because that means he's uh, actually chasing the person he wants. So if we get him on the... Yeah, that'll do. Right, if we go back to the pickup we'll jump in the pickup and what we'll do is we'll spawn what are we going to spawn this time mm. I've got a Vectra, should we get the Vectra out? yeah let's go for a Vectra so we'll go for the 4x4 version, we'll spawn a new one of those and hopefully we'll be able to get, it's not the best model this car but uh, still it's a Vectra something we all kind of know over here in the UK still see them on the roads daily Boom, we can snap off the Volvo. There we go. Um, and the Vectra's actually snapped quite like a Vectra would snap. Shit, to be fair. That's what I'll do. 
I can't get out. We'll go again. I know it's kind of cheating and it defeats the object of destroying the car, but we can then destroy the cars in front, which makes it even more fun rather than watching me try and pull a car out for the whole meeting or the whole video. So, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool if we can just keep doing this. Keep snapping these cars off. What would be even cooler if we get in that uh, Cortina and actually snap that off again. So we're now going to come around I'm just going to launch that Honda that's still sitting there. Oh, holy shit. Alright, I've got no back axle due to the uh, drop in the kerb there. Right, here we come, here we come. We're coming in hard. Coming in hard. Boom! On the back end of that. Oh my god, look at the state of that Cortina. Right, I'm just going to try something. I want to see that Cortina with a bit of detail. So um, I'm actually going to try and remove the Honda out of the way a little will this thing move? oh no I think it's dropped yeah I think that's dead in it what about Cortina? will the Cortina move? nah snap the prop I'm not surprised to be honest though what about the Vol- ah this is the Yank I want the Volvo no where's the Volvo at? Here we go. Oh, the Volvo's movable again. That's sweet. Get out of the way, pick up. We're coming through. Trying to get this uh, Volvo round. Actually handling quite f fucking nicely. Oh, there's the pickup. Let's do him over the back wheel. Boom, have some of that. Oh, we've rolled it. Not too bad though, we're still going. And we've snapped. Snapped the front of the Volvo, but there we go. It's a little bit of fun, isn't it? Trying to get him round. Dipping the clutch there. I'm just going to dive across and try and get that uh, yank through the doors. Probably a driver's door, but there. Don't worry about that, do we? It's only a game. Look at that. Alex fucking snapped. Push the door beam back and see the door isn't in line no more. You definitely won't be able to shut that. <laughs> come on. Come on, Volvo. Come on. Off you come. No. Okay. It looks like I may be stuck in the back on the side of this. I have got an absolute wicked idea right now, though. If I can get back in the pickup, I am going to swap this dodgy pickup for another car. And we are going to finish this episode off. With a nice following, um, oh no, Chevy Nova, no. I'm gonna go with the Moonhawk Derby. I think this is the one I downloaded earlier. Um, I can't actually see it, so I'm gonna hope it is. It's got 414 horsepower. So, oh no, we spawned new. Never mind, never mind. We're gonna have to have another one in. But we've got a Derby banger here. Look, I don't know what's going on underneath it, but I thought this would look pretty cool as a banger mod maybe um, for a bit of fun but we want to go right round oh look at that tyre nearly coming off the rim there that was pretty decent right where's that Volvo is that Volvo still parked there yes it is boom have some of that Volvo took him all the way to the wall or the fence can we get it off no we're now actually embedded in this no we're not we're away so we're still embedded but hopefully I can just keep pushing him and maybe he'll come off. That's what we're on about. Nope. Nope. We're stuck now. There we go. 4 4s kicked in. 414 horsepower. Can it pull it off? We're actually stuck to the boot lid by the looks of it. Alright. There's an easy way. We'll just get rid of that boot lid, shall we? There we go. Oh, did that actually just hook back down on the car? What an absolute pain in the ass. Right. Go on, off you come. So close. So close to making it free. Alright, we may have to just yank this off ourselves. Alright, we'll give that a little little tingle see if that'll work 
Nope. All right then. We'll we'll finish this off by snapping this manually then, shall we? Boom. So um, I believe that we can actually snap cars. I think it was a. Uh, if I hold a key, a certain key, I can bring up certain menus. I may not be able to find it now. That would be the problem though. There we go, look, I can bring up different menus to snap the cars off. See that there? I've got all that. That's what makes these cars snap. There's a lot of code in there. Right, anyway, I don't think I can actually do a lot more. I actually don't want that on my screen, to be fair. Hang on, hang on, guys, hang on. There we go. Thought I had rid of it then. Here we go, we got rid of everything. So I think we're actually in lodged in this uh, Volvo and I don't think I'm actually going to get out. Which is a pain really. We'll have to just uh, destroy the car. I can't actually see what's going on right now. wonder if the truck will move. I must be kidding myself. I think the engine's actually blown up, isn't it? <laughs> so have we got anything that will move? Oh, the Volvo! Oh, the Volvo's just freed itself. Oh my God! What a godsend this Volvo is. Oh, the Volvo's boots then got attached again. Oh my God! This is not proven to be too good, is it? Ah, uh, well, I don't think this one's gone too well, has it? Well, the Cortina's still running. The Yanks just lodged itself inside the Honda. The Vectra's still completely straight. Oh, the lights are on. Don't know what the hell I was doing then. Here we go. We're just going to finish it all off now. Just going to get the rest of these cars mullered. Can't have a straight car sat in there, can we? Oh my god, don't say the Yank's now getting out. Okay, I'm a little confused to what's going on. Why these AIs and cars keep getting stuck to each other this is kind of annoying. But there we go, I think I got the yank out, so we'll go take that for a last little blip. So we've got this bad boy out. Let's go. Here we go. Boom, have that. Finish it off. Well, I think that's the end of that one because I can't really do a lot, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. That is the. Uh, my go I'm gonna go with the AIs but um, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully we have plenty more videos to be coming um, regarding wrecking cars so here we go um, I'm Duff and Josh peace out guys <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we're all loaded in and this is the beauty Tads has done an absolutely amazing job on this um, we've been through we've tested it and Ain't gonna get much better than this, really. Just look at the details he's put in to the fences, the, the stands, um, the grass, the texture of the track. You've got the vehicles in the middle, he's got some decent, nice looking tractors in there. Yeah.
I even got the light poles with the uh, Jennings on the bottom. And I must say, they look absolutely brilliant. Um, and they do actually break up. I didn't know this until 